Snipers, you have to see what's happening to the Bitcoin price this Wednesday as our daily candle is $200 shy of the $49,700 resistance level that if Bitcoin can breach, that puts a scenario of Bitcoin potentially coming back above its 20 week moving average on the table. And this is a very important week for Bitcoin because of the fact that we're so close to 49,700. It looks like we're going to get the test of this level. And so if we see a breakout from here, notice how the total cryptocurrency market cap chart is actually touching its 20 week moving average. But the Bitcoin price has yet to touch the 20 week still sitting at the 50 week looking like it wants to find support here with four weekly candles so far maintaining price action at the 50 week if we see the total market cap breach above the 20 week moving average here because it's already testing it today then the likelihood that Bitcoin is able to breach back above its 20 week moving average comes on the table. And now we can start talking about 60,000 and 70,000 US dollars potentially just if we can recover all we need is to see price action above 49,700 for this potential upside scenario to be on the table. And that would be totally garden variety market behavior for Bitcoin to have come down to its 200 day moving average for a quick retest of this level. Have a little bit of a cup of coffee here, get its brakes checked and get some of the tires changed and then continue the run up to potentially see new all time highs into 2022. 72,500 is on the table. If that happens, all we need is 49,700 in order for this potential upside scenario to come to the table. And of course, as you guys know, 44,800, that's the major support. And we also have a weekly open here at 46,600 as a major support level right now for Bitcoin. And I do want to talk about this total market cap, as I've mentioned here, the 20 week moving average sticking tough here to this weekly candle. You can see the last two weekly candles have sat just below this 20 week. So could we really say that we've rejected the 20 week? I wouldn't say that just yet. If we break above that two point three five trillion dollar level for the total market, that's the early confirmation that Bitcoin has that potential to see that upside scenario. So we have to monitor this chart here at an extremely important level here with the total market cap for potential early confirmation. Ethereum already maintaining price action at its 20 week moving average. And you can see it's trying to come up and test its previous weekly open at 4130 right now. I do believe if we break above 4130 because the range resistance next is 4373, we could have another shot here for Ethereum to see new all time highs and outperform Bitcoin potentially with the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart being so strong. Notice how with the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart, we're testing the monthly open right now, but we're way above it. And we haven't yet seen a rejection here. The likelihood that this could continue further up because of the strength that we've seen since the symmetrical triangle breakout is on the table. And so momentum is still there for the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart, giving Ethereum the leading edge here. If we start to see price action above 50,000 for Bitcoin, which is coming here close, Bitcoin dominance stalling out. But the altcoins outside of Ethereum showing some strength here above their 100 day moving average, not yet breaking out of the consolidation. So I wouldn't say there's a decisive breakout yet, but we're either going to reject here or we're going to move up. And so far, the likelihood that we're going to move up is a lot higher because we're testing the higher resistance levels right now. And so that's also a great confirmation that there could be another spur of liquidity coming into the total market, also affecting altcoins. And we look at what's happening in the DXY still very calm. The S&P 500, though, maintaining price action back above the 50 day moving average now recovering away from that test of the 100 day moving average. That's a very positive thing here for the S&P 500. Japan looks like it's bottomed out. It wants to come and test these daily moving averages. It's sitting just below them. That's a good sign there for the second largest international market. And then we go into China. Notice how we're above the 50 and 100 day looks sort of bottomed out here. We already got above the 200 day recently. And so if we move back above that 200 day, Japan moves up. All puzzle pieces are in the favor for Bitcoin to see some upside the Euro 100 coming back above the 50 day moving average right now, closing a candle body above that level, which is a huge win. Gold staying calm, which means institutional money isn't scared right now. The gold to Bitcoin chart doing what we want if we want to assume further strength for Bitcoin, rejecting its 200 day moving average so far and seeing some new daily lows for the week. So a lot happening. We've been taking a lot of trades for those in the discord. We have the number one discord community in the world. Number one cryptocurrency trade signals. We got into helium. We got into Polkadot. We got into the crypto.com token. And so we're buying the dips for the strong altcoins because if Bitcoin can get above 50,000 and those altcoin charts continue to move in the direction that they're in above all their daily moving averages right now, we could expect potential outperformance with altcoins and a continuation of this next phase of this cycle. So very exciting stuff right now. We're at a very key level. Forty nine thousand seven hundred. We've yet 
to even test it, but there is a reason for that because that's where the fireworks will come off. And so if we can get some price action and four hour and hourly candles above this level, that's what we like to look for here on the Sniper's channel. That's going to be that first confirmation. And then we know 44,800 is the major support for this range. So far, we're testing the resistance. So if we start to come down, we'll address the volume at that point. And with that, thank you all for tuning into the Sniper's channel this Wednesday. I appreciate each and every one of you tuned into the channel. I couldn't do this without you. I can't wait to get my live streams back up. And let's see if Bitcoin can reconquer that 20 week moving average. Remember to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And with that, snipers out.